Hello oh, well guys, Scotty here. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a explosive launcher in Scrap Mechanic. Now this thing is super easy to do and just it's just efficient and it's simple and it's just amazing and it's just too good to be good. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is place two poles on top of each other like so. You're then going to want to get a bearing, place it on top of said two poles. Get a corner piece to have it facing your left and then uh, two, two squares to your left, place another pole. Then place a bearing on top of that pole. And then get a uh, corner piece and have it face the first pole. You're then going to want to get these uh, pipes here, um, sh pipe short wherever they are. And then place it on the sides like this, like so. And then that's the first part done. So after you've got this, what you want to do is get a spud gun turret, place it under here like so. You're then going to want to get a cardboard, place it in front of the spud turret like that. And then get a explosive like that. And then that's the second part done. Okay, so after you've got this, you then want to put down a switch and a button, and then you want to get your seat, put that there, and then you want to get your controller, put that there, and then that's the third part done. Okay, and last but not least, you then want to get your switch, and then hook it up to the seat, and then get your button, also hook it up to the seat, and then get your button, and hook it up to the spot gun turret, and then get your switch, hook it up to the controller, and then from the controller, you then want to hook up uh, the two bearings that you place on the poles to the controller. And now in the controller, you then want to go onto the second dial on the first tab and make it plus 180. And then on the second dial, uh, second dial on the second tab, you then want to make it uh, negative 180. And then after you've done this, don't forget to oh make it max speed, which it is. It needs to be max speed. And then what well, doesn't need to be? It's just better if it is. And then on the two bearings you place on the poles, make sure you change the rotation like so. And then after this, you should just be able to go into your seat, hit 1, hit 2, and then boom, it fires an explosive. It's great. And just for a little demonstration as to how strong this thing is, you just need to hold down 1 for a second, and then hit 2, and then boom, that target is no more. And I think one of the main reasons why I like the design so much is that you can mount it onto literally anything. I mean, take this car for example. I mean, it's insane. You can just make a straight up, straight up war machine like this, and it's just insane. I mean, I mean, that target is just gone, like never to be seen again. I can just do it again if I can aim it right, and like so, boom, there we go. It's, it, you can just make a war machine out of this. It's quick, easy, simple, and it's survival friendly. So you can just mess around with your friends with this, and it's just insane. And if you have found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe. It is all very greatly appreciated, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.